going down the mountain, I decided to veer off to the right side and what caused me to tumble down the mountain. When I opened my eyes, I realized that I could not feel my legs or move them. I kept on telling the ski patrol my that I could not feel my legs. I cannot feel my legs. I can't feel my legs. I'm the youngest in the family, so I was kind of like the fun one, always trying to do something fun. Before my accident, I felt like I was at the peak of my life. I just recently signed to play college golf that I've worked on my whole life. I didn't really ever imagine my life in a wheelchair. On February 19, 2022, I was in a ski accident that left me paralyzed from the waist down. On first impact on the ground, on the snow, I severed my spinal cord and broke my back. I was by myself in the ICU for seven nights. To be there by myself, unable to do anything, to get up and walk to get some water or to brush my teeth, nothing. It was terrifying at that moment. The very first night, actually, after I woke up from my procedure, we had some family friends come and bring me a, a minky blanket. And I remember they put it on me, and I just had a warm feeling that this is what I needed. This is exactly what I needed at that moment. Minky blankets have been in our family for as long as I've known. Everyone sleeps with a minky blanket. That feeling of having a minky blanket when I was alone kind of felt like I was at home. I think that moment where I found hope was still in the hospital, actually. It was when I touched a golf club again. My brother brought me my golf clubs, and I was like, dude, why are you bringing me these? I don't, I'm not gonna use them ever again. But no, we went outside and we found a little patch of grass out in the front of the hospital. I knew right there it wasn't gonna be the same, but I knew I had to go do something. I had a couple of moments where my mom actually wanted to help me a lot. And I told her, do not help me. I don't care how long it takes. And I still need it to this day of just let me struggle a little bit to learn. That's the only way I'm gonna learn is by doing it by myself. <laughs> my connection with Minky has definitely increased. I recently just did a modeling with them. I was Hesitant at first, of course, you know, I was like, oh, people are actually going to see that I'm in a wheelchair. But I was also like, who else is going to do it? I want people to know everyone deserves a minky. Everyone needs to have that feeling of that comfort of a minky blanket. When I was in the hospital, I was concerned about my future, if I was going to be able to get married and to have a family, to do the activities that I did, like ski and golf again. Now, I'm grateful that I uh, have just recently proposed and now planning a wedding, and I'm able to still ski and golf again. The U.S. Adaptive Open is a tournament hosted for just people with disabilities. I got an adaptive equipment that allows me to play on golf courses and I was able to play in the 2023 US Adaptive Open and I won the seated categories. I won in that one. Yeah, it felt good to have that competitiveness drive to, to go out and win something. Well, I was very happy when I put that last putt in for the win. The struggle is a very important part for everyone in their life to grow. If I was given the chance to be healed, I wouldn't choose it. Even though I had to go through a hard trial, I am grateful that this happened to me because it gave me a perspective of I can do hard things. I'm just grateful to be able to stay positive and to choose that every day.